Hello everybody, man, it's great to be with you here on, uh, what is this, Thankful Thursday? Amen. Let's rejoice and be glad for this is what, this is the day the Lord has made and we do. We can always have that opportunity to rejoice and be glad for the things that God has done for us. And hey, I need you to do me a favor. Man, we're just kind of really going to up this game on the Got Two Minutes and I appreciate everybody that chimes in and listens. Would you hit the share button, hit the like button and just pass the word about this so we can just share God's goodness and God's grace to everybody uh, that we can. And we just really want to we really want to do this. It's not about promoting me. It's about promoting the Lord. And we just want to lift him up and just rejoice in that. You know, one of my favorite Bible passages, I know I say that a lot, but I have a lot. You know, there's a lot of passages that I really love. It's this one that we find in John chapter 10 in uh, today's Bible reading. And Jesus says, and this is a big deal. I don't want to get into too much of the theology of this. But when Jesus says, I am the good shepherd, Man, that is a powerful, powerful statement that Jesus is making to his disciples to explain who he is because God said to Moses in the burning bush, I am that I am. And Jesus is equating himself with that in that statement, in that statement alone. And so you can imagine what the disciples are sitting there thinking. And so, but Jesus goes on to describe how that I am the good shepherd. Now, <clears throat> he says, I love my children. I love my sheep and my sheep know my voice. And man, you know, when you're a follower of Christ and you just, you know, and you struggle with, and, and just have problems and heartaches and worries and stress and all of that kind of stuff, we know we can reach out to the Lord. And Jesus says in that passage that, you know, the hard servant does what? He sees the wolf or the bear or the lion coming and he does what? He runs for his life and he abandons the sheep. Man, the Lord doesn't do that though, does he? The Lord watches over us. He protects us. Reminds me. Let's go back to Psalm 23. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And man, I can't wait to talk about that on Sunday morning. And God watches over us. And he's there to help us. And he's there to just, to just go with us. So man, whatever you're going through today, I want you to know that Jesus is the good shepherd. And he's right there with you. And he's going to stay with you. Matter of fact, the Bible even tells us in that passage, go read it, that I lay down my life for my sheep. And uh, man, that's why the Lord loves us so much. And that's his grace and his, and his kindness toward us. And so rest assured in that. Find peace in that. Find hope in that. Amen? Amen. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.